Hello, and welcome to the introduction of Concord and Knight's first ever kit. We've wanted to create a kit for a while now, and we've had a few ideas in our pocket, but wanted to start out with a turnabout tool kit. This kit is going to help you learn to turn and has supplies needed to get you started. In this kit are a couple of new turnabout tools and an exclusive stamp and die combo, meaning you can only get the Everyday Bouquet stamp and die sets in this kit. I'm going to walk you through the kit, its contents, show you how to turn along with some completed projects. Shall we get started? Look at this cute box. We love the striped design and this is a fun little belly band that slides up and off the box. If you turn it over, you're going to see what's inside the box. You've got the stamp, a jig, some temporary adhesive, adhesive remover, white cards and envelopes, everyday bouquet dies, and there are also instructions. If you turn it to the side, you're going to see the name of the toolkit so that you can stack this on your shelf and hopefully stack it next to some future kits, but you'll know the name of the toolkit you're reaching for. Okay, so let's slide this belly band off and get started. Okay, so you open this box and you've got some fun little messages from us. A little note here that says open here for the good stuff. So let's do that. And happy crafting. Okay, let's pull out the kit contents. Trying to keep it all here so you can see it. Okay, so first of all, we've got this cute little business card in here. If you turn it over, it shows you our little social media icons, hashtag Concord and Ninth, and a new hashtag, hashtag Turnabout Toolkit. We want you to use that hashtag when you use this kit so we can see the creations that you make. Here you have an instruction booklet. You get a full cartridge of this temporary adhesive. You get an adhesive remover. Here is the exclusive stamp set, Everyday Bouquet Turnabout Stamp. And on the back, you'll see that um, we've stepped out, if you turn it one time, two times, three times, and four times, what that will look like. You receive this Everyday Bouquet Die Set. Here is something new. It's a turnabout jig. I'm going to show you a little bit more about this in just a minute, but yes, this is a reusable jig. You don't have to make your own anymore. And then you also get a pack of four um, standard size cards that are scored and some envelopes to go with it. Okay, now that we've emptied the kit, let's get out the instruction booklet and actually learn to turn. Okay, I'm going to move this off to the side so that it's not in our way. And then we'll put some of the contents up here. Okay. So here's the instructions. And we are, in fact, going to learn to turn. So this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to use our turnabout stamps. Next page, it says, let's get turning. Here's what you'll need. Turnabout toolkit, which you'll have already received a MISTI or other stamp platform tool, four colors of ink, something to clean your stamps with, and a beverage of your choice. I won't tell you what I'm drinking today to get through this video. Okay, just kidding, I've just got water. Um, uh, then what you do is you'll just open it up and you've got this trifold here and you'll have step by step, so you've got nine steps to complete. And I'm gonna leave this right here and just go through the steps with you. Okay, so step number one right here talks about peeling off your turnabout image from the stamp set. So let's get that opened. And then it says, um, position face down onto the alignment aid. Now you might be like, what alignment aid? It's actually in your stamp set. So in every stamp set that you purchase from January 9th going forward, that's a turnabout, will include this alignment aid. Okay, um, so the days of the Sharpie and the rulers and marking the back of your stamp are out. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is the turnabout on the stamp set right here, and we're just going to peel that section off. 
and we're going to align it to the egg. Okay, so on your aid, you'll see right here, it says this side up. So you're gonna wanna leave that side facing up, and then you're gonna take your stamp and you're going to want to position it so that it is stamped down, like this is the imagery that you'll put ink on, you wanna put it face down like this. And you'll just line it up with the artwork on your alignment aid, okay? It just takes a little bit of finessing here. Okay, so now you can see that that is lined up. Like I said, you haven't had to use a Sharpie, no ruler, you haven't, you're not marking your stamp. This is ready to go. Okay, step two, corner the turnabout jig on the Misty. I did show you this. This is the turnabout jig. This is in its packaging. Let me show you one that's out of the packaging and we'll get our Misty ready to go. Okay, so here is the turnabout jig. Let me show you a few things about this before we get started. You've got your logo and the turnabout jig at the top. You'll notice off to the side it's got a little one, and then over here is a two, three, and a four. This is going to help you so that when you ink, you know that you've, you're on your first turn, and then you ink again, you're on your second. Sometimes I lose track when I'm doing it, so those are there to help you know which turn you're on. Next to those are these little registration marks. Hopefully you can see those. They're just die cut out of the plastic. One is for lining up your card right in the middle of the jig. This is land, or sorry, portrait, and then there's registration marks for putting your card on landscape, whichever you choose to do. Also, you'll notice that there is a perforated X all the way from corner to corner on your jig. That is your, um, You've marked the X, which is going to line up with the X on your alignment aid, okay? So let's do that first. We're gonna set this down, and then you take your alignment aid, and you're just gonna line up the black lines on this acetate sheet to the perforated lines on here, okay? And actually, just kidding, you're gonna wanna do this in your MISTI so you don't have to move it again. Okay, so set this in your Misty. You're gonna to wanna to corner your jig right down in the corner so you have two nice hard edges to keep it straight. And then you're gonna line up the X's, okay? So just make sure those both line up nice and neat. And then all you have to do is close the lid of your Misty, give that a little push, and lift this up, okay? So now your stamp is ready to go, it's all lined up. Okay, then before you ink, you're going to want to get one of your cards, your temporary adhesive. Okay, so let's do that first. Let's, um, I'm just actually gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the inside so that I can keep it closed. And then I'm gonna put two little marks on the back of my card just to keep it stationary on the jig. Okay, so I'm gonna line it up. Like I mentioned, there's those registration marks. There's four, so that you can put it right in the middle of your turnabout jig. I'm just gonna push that down, okay? So now we're ready for our first color of ink. We know we're on our first turn because the little one is up in the top right corner. Okay, let's get, oh, just kidding. I was gonna say let's get inking, but you can't. Then next, what you're gonna do is remove this alignment aid. Okay, just set that off to the side and this stamp is ready to go. You don't have to position it again. Okay, so let's get inking, let's do this. So we've already gone through four steps. We're now down to this step in your instruction booklet. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and there's our first layer of ink. Okay, if this comes off, just go ahead and corner it again. You're gonna wanna get your stamp cleaner and just clean off that first layer of ink. Okay, so now I'm ready for my second color of ink. So I take my jig, turn it one 
quarter of a turn count or er, clockwise and now I've got the two up in the corner so I know I'm on my second turn and my second color of ink let's do that one okay and then just go ahead and stamp that second turn down okay that one's all set go ahead and clean this off Okay, now I'm ready for my third color of ink. So I'm gonna turn so that the three is in the top right corner and go for my third color of ink. Stamp that one down. Okay, and we'll clean that layer off. Turn it so I've got my four up in the corner and use my fourth color of ink. Okay, look, I have completed my turns. Okay, so let's clean off that last ink color. So here in the instruction booklet, I've kind of moved along, but it's going to show you turn one, turn two, turn three, and turn four. Okay, then as I mentioned, included in your kit is this adhesive remover. So what we can do is go ahead and remove our card off of the jig. We'll just close this up and move this off to the side. And then take the adhesive remover and simply remove your temporary adhesive from your card. And then don't forget the one that you did on the inside so that your recipient can open your card. And there's a little over here too. Okay, so we've done step eight. We've used the adhesive remover and then all you have to do is add a greeting from the stamp set on the top and you end up with a cute sample that looks just like this. Okay, how easy was that? It really is. If you follow along in these instructions, use your alignment aid and your jig, it's really, really going to be easy to line up all of your stamps. Okay, I wanna show you one more thing here. It says flip to the back for additional projects. Okay, so, all you do is flip this over and it's going to show you what you can do to embellish your cards. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the die set here. Okay, so it's got this really fun banner that will die cut. You can just die cut it solid or you can layer the word thanks inside and it fits right inside so you get a little peek through or you can use the fallout letters as well. Okay, it's got these squares that, so you can uh, die cut just a solid square to stamp on. You can also get this little frame if you use both of them together through your die cut machine at the same time, or you can just use the small one and get this smaller square, or you could use different colors of cardstock and layer those on top of each other as well. It's got this beautiful flower with these cute stitched details in it. Uh, you've got this little sprig here. It does these, all of these little sprigs that do these fun little embellishments. You've got a middle for your flower if you want to put that on there. And then you've got these little stitched leaves and they just leave little stitched marks in your cardstock. They don't actually fall out. They just leave a cute little stitched mark on your cards. So let me show you some projects using the dies. Okay, so here we've done the turnabout. We've just used one color of ink and done all four turns and then embellished it with those fun sprigs, the flower, and then a sentiment from the stamp set. Here is one where we've done multiple colors of ink for your turnabout. 
we've die cut the banner with the die cut thanks out and then we actually puzzled the letters back in in a different color of cardstock to give that some fun interest and here we've got another card where we've done the four colors uh, on your turnabout we've stamped out congrats on the banner added some gold foil for those little sprigs and then the background right there is actually from the stamp set let me see sorry if i can grab it here see this square right there we've just gone ahead and like tiled the square to make a fun background on there so isn't that fun okay i have shown you everything there's to show you in this amazing kit you have successfully learned to turn. Get your toolkit on January 9th, 2019 at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. They are while supplies last, so don't delay. Happy crafting.